Hey there YouTube, this is Mr. Lubufu and I'm here with another pack opening from magiconabudget.com. Uh, they sent in a few packs that are pretty cool, so we've got, you know, a couple Dragon's Maze, we've got a Gate Crash, Return of Ravnica, but they also sent in Avacyn Restored and a Zendikar, which is always fun. I, I love opening Zendikar and Avacyn Restored. It's actually the one set that has hated me the most in terms of opening it. I have, I've opened probably about 50 packs of Avacyn Restored, and, um not hit a bonfire for the damn, oddly enough. Um, and a lot of good cards. I don't think I, got, I opened a Tammy Maze. Anyway, so I could just sit here and open it, or I could do something a little bit more cool and open these in a rather clever way. So that's what's going to happen here. So here's how the jump cut's going to work. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to open these uh, very, very uniquely. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them all together. I'm going to make sure that they're all lined up perfectly, and you guys will see why. Um, but I have to make extra super special sure that I get this right. Okay. Because we've all seen pack openings, we've all seen, you know, there's lots of cool stuff you can do. Or you talk about picks, you can do, um, maybe I have some restored picks a little bit high. There we go. Um, you can talk about picks, you can just jump through it and talk about the uh, the rares or the limited formats or like there's all there's all different approaches you can take um, what I'm gonna do is do something a little bit on the cooler side okay there we go so we've got our little a little packet right here I'm actually gonna off camera align this a little bit better there we go so now now it's set up so that way they're all aligned so next thing I'm gonna do is um, so anytime you have a pack of magic, they you've got the the cards, and then you have a little bit of white space. So one of the things I'm going to do is actually pull on it, so that way all the cards are pushed very well to the bottom. I don't want to accidentally do something I don't want to happen. So we've got this, we've got this, we've got that, and we've got that. Okay, there we go. So now all the cards are pushed to the bottom. You can see that there's a lot more. Um, looseness to the top. So, yeah, a little bit of space to do what I want to do. Mwahaha. So now I take my bundle and I take a, another tripod. I actually just got this at a second garage sale. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to tape my bundle to the tripod. Make sure to get it nice and straight. And I know it's upside down for you guys. Ah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Tape it down nice and tight. Fantastic. I'm going to have to repress it so all the cards are down towards the bottom again. Um, but there we go. Standing on the tripod. So now we have a tripod with six magic packs glued or taped together on it. And <clears throat> let's just say I have a uh, particular, I just need to get it out, mind you, sharp sword. I'm going to see if I can cut through the top of these packs um, and uh, get it so that way the tops all. Like, I cut it right, hopefully not damage this Dragon's Maze pack. I might want to put a piece of cardboard. Eh. I do have pieces of cardboard. I might want to do that, actually. Nah, I think I'll be okay. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to set this up in a place where you guys can sort of see. Let's see. Yeah, that'll probably work out. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that the camera is set up and everything, and then we'll get right on it. Okay, here goes nothing. Going once, going twice, and, no, I missed. Ah, not most of them. Well, that's going to have to do. Um, I hit part of the tripod on the back, so, but I think I got most. Uh, let me see. I didn't cut through the Absinthe Restored and the Dragon's Maze one well enough to go all the way through, and the Zendikar didn't, but the other three I got, so, there you go. How cool is that? So I'm going to untape the packs of the tripod, you guys can't see it, but I'll uh, 
just remove the tape for a quick sec. And there you go. Okay. So a mostly a mostly clean cut on most. Um, but now we'll go ahead and do the rest of the pack openings. Um, after this, of course, there will be a giveaway as usual for Magic on a Budget, um, where I'll give away uh, a couple of cool cards from Modern Masters and my, even though I'm not trading anymore, my binder. So the winner will get a few cool cards, um, definitely cards worth investing in, and just all around fun stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, start getting our way through it. I don't want to turn it upside down because of the, uh, I don't want the cards to slide out, but there you go. There's the uh, six packs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, wow, it really didn't cut through that Dragon's Maze pack. So let's start with this one. Uh, Dragon's Maze, pop it out. Okay, um, mostly gonna flip through comments without carrying, without too much notice. Just point out important stuff. Uh, Gatekeepers is good if you have enough gates to back it up. Um, so, our first uncommon is a Showstopper. Our second is a Woodlock Crawler. Our third is a Profit Loss. And our rare is a Boros Battle Shaper. And we've got an Orzhov Guild, uh, Guildgate. This card's actually just incredibly powerful and limited. Um, kind of interesting. It's also f important to note that uh, Profit Loss is, in fact, Zealous Persecution plus three mana. Those of you that know, Zealous Persecution was in the original Ravnica. Um, and it was really quite good, uh, being able to give your creatures plus one, plus one, and your opponent's creatures minus one, minus one, you know, for two mana, was, uh, was a big effect. Let's make sure that all this is nice and set up. There we go. Okay, uh, I kind of want to save the Absent Restored one for second to last, so we'll just open the second Dragon's Maze pack. Go kind of in reverse order. Um, so, again, oh. I uh, almost left a common still in there. There you go. Well, I almost left in a Vishano First Blade, quite a good Boros common, um, if you're playing in Limited. Boros Cluestone, another Cluestone. Tide Drinker, another good common. This one has a lot of good commons in it. Crawl Warrior is also quite good. Our first uncommon is Carnage Gladiator. Our second is Warped Physique. Our third is a Blaze Commando. Our rare is a Breaking and Entering, and an Is It Guildgate. Breaking and Entering actually saw some play in my uh, in a friend of mine at GP Kansas City's deck because it gives you the mill effect for breaking, but it's also a red card to pitch to um, to uh, Fury of the Hordes. You guys know that combo deck. Oh, again, another card. The uh, the rat token. Beware of that rat token. Um, so Metropolis Smite. Smite's quite good. Uh, Grizzly Spectacles, okay, probably best common in the set for limited purposes. Um, unconditional Removal is very good. It's, the only thing is it's not splashable. Our first uncommon, Demir Charm. Our second is Murder Investigation. Our third is Undercity Informer. Our rare is a Gyre Sage, actually a card I was looking for. Uh, it sages all the gyres. Uh, a lot of people, when it first came out, especially in, bl in the Block Naya deck that was run by Ephro, uh, we're saying, oh, next Tarmogoyf. Yeah, you have to work for it. Um, going, I mean, having a Gyro Sage on turn two, and then going Burning Tree into, or Burning Tree Emissary into Flit and Hope 4, getting two counters on it, seemed good. Um, I still think it's a solid card. It can do, it can do a lot of fun things. Um, anyway, now on to the Return to Ravnica pack. Ooh, we got a foil, I think. Uh, so you have an Urban Burgeon. Why am I talking about probably one of the worst commons in the set? Um... Another bad one, another bad one. There you go, Goblin Electromancer sees play in, in Modern Storm. Um, our first uncommon is Phantom General. Our second is an Azorius Key Room. Our third is a new Prof Guild Mage. We have a Pything Needle, Pithing, 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 Pithing Needle, and a Foil Collective Blessing. This is actually the second Foil Collective Blessing I have opened in packs. I think both from Magic on a Budget, too. Um, Pithing Needle is going to be a sideboard staple against Aetherling decks. And Collective Blessing, I actually kind of like it in the green-white Nyadex just to go big, but having a foil one's always pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Now let's go to Absent Restored, where I will almost certainly not open a Bonfire of the Damned, um, because I have been cursed. I opened so many packs of Absent Restored, and actually my booster box, I think, had 
one relevant mythic. I think it was just an Entreat the Angels. I think I had maybe two mythics in the whole box. I don't recall. You can see that video on my channel and see, uh, see, but it was pretty bad. Anyways, go ahead and, and take a flashback to Absent Restored. Banner's Race. This guy's not that good. Seraph Dawn was very powerful common. 2-4 Flying Life Link is good. Grave Exchange. I don't want to f spend too much time on the commons. Deathwind was quite good. Uh, Angel's Mercy. First uncommon is Blood Artist. If I have to mention that Blood Artist is quite good, it's quite good. Our second is Fettergeist. Our third is Commander's Authority. And an Angel of Glory's Rise. The number of angels I have, Angel of Glory Rise I've opened is also quite high. And then we have Land and Tip Card. And now onto the Zendikar pack. Uh, Zendikar is one of my favorite sets to open. Fun trivia fact, I've actually never opened a pack of World Wake, so I've never played the Jace Lottery. Um, but one of the things I like about Zendikar, apart from this Merfolk token, is that I believe this is the basic land. It's a full art. I love the full art Zendikar lands. Um, Zendikar was a fun draft format for me. It was really fast. It was gate crash level of fast. Um, so, anyway, uh, we have a Highland Berserker, Cabria Crossroads, Disfigure, one of the good pieces of removal in the set. Mar Sirkar Marauder. Calling Heart Expedition was a staple in the uh, standard Valakut decks with Primeval Titan. Soul Slayer Expedition. Shield Mate's Blessing. Shoal Serpent. Molten Ravager. Sees a lot of things in the duels of the Planeswalker game. Uh, we have a Beast Hunt. Our first uncommon is a Gatekeeper Malakir. Staple. Our second is a Geyser Glider. Our third is a Quest for Ancient Steerings. And our rare is a Royal Elemental. So it's a 3-2 flyer that landfalls. Um, you may gain control of target creature for as long. So it's landfall mind control. So pretty cool. Uh, fun casual card. Being able to start kidnapping stuff is not, not trivial. Anyway, so that's it for that. If you guys want to enter the contest now to win a couple of cool rares that I have, uh, all you have to do is just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this sort of pack opening with the with the sword. Unfortunately, I don't think it made the packs any better. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll be doing it in the future. But thank you guys all for watching. Thank you again to Magic on a Budget for being a continuing channel sponsor and uh, just being all around awesome. If you guys haven't checking out Ma check 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 it checked out Magic on a Budget, uh, you really should. They have all sorts of stuff. Uh, any sort of cards you need, or tokens, or tips, or anything you're looking for, go to Magic on a Budget. I know that they uh, had, a while back, they were the ones that were selling Jace's for, or Jace TMS's for a lot cheaper, so definitely, you know, a great website if you're ever looking for cheap cards on a budget. Anyway, thanks again for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.